What's going on, everybody? You get the region you have here, and I represent the Arizona Cardinal 2 to 9 failure empire. Finally got out of Seattle. I'm back in Oregon, heading south, going to the Bay, California. Just got my prefix at Denny's here. About to get going. There's a lot of outcry right now about the shit that's happening at the border. Oh my god. Oh my god. The police and the border patrol. They're pepper spraying kids. Uh, uh. They're using tear gas on kids. On babies. Yeah. Yeah. David Hogg. Did you see his fucking tweet on Twitter? They're using chemical weapons against in another country, this is an act of war. Well, I'm sorry. This is an invasion. When you're being invaded, you use chemical weapons to protect your country. No cry about Chemical Alley, who gassed 8,000 Kurds before the Gulf War. Where's your cry there, David? Hog! You keep that Bob Bimbo Emma Gonzalez in line. She's running her damn mouth too much. Put some duct tape on that piece of shit. Before I step into math class... Her third hour, and before I go into her third hour math class, grab the teacher stapler and staple it shut myself. Anyway, enough about hog. Let's talk about the border. These kids and babies that are getting tear gas. I'm waiting for the napalm on the drone strikes. For the Call of Duty care, care package. Well, that ain't going to happen. Let me clarify some things. So here's, here's logical nonsense. Here's what does not make sense. Okay? Here's what does not make sense. So you mean to tell me. You mean to tell me. Okay, forget the fucking tear gas and the pepper spray in the kid's eyes. I'm more, I'm more concerned about the cunt of a mother that dragged her kid across seven countries with no shoes on and a shitty diaper. If you believe that bullshit. And I'm going to tell you why I don't believe that bullshit. To all you idiot liberals out there that don't understand geography... Geography, how you spell it, George Edison's oldest grandkid rode a pony home yesterday or some shit like that. That's what they taught me in social studies in second grade. Okay, let me clarify something. Look at the fucking a map of Mexico. Look at San Diego and see where it's located. Now look at Brownsville, Texas. See where that's located. They came from Central America. So you mean to tell me, instead of going 1,500 miles shorter up to Brownsville, Brownsville, Texas, where there's plenty of jobs, 95% Hispanic, San Padre Island, plenty of fishing jobs, fish a good fishing industry, plenty of jobs. McAllen is right there, Far is right there, plenty of warehouse jobs, lots of, lots of jobs for Mexicans, lots of farm jobs, enough jobs down there in South Texas. Around the Brownsville area, a Brown, the Brownsville area, a lot of them can find jobs. Instead of traveling, and it's 1,500 miles shorter than San Diego. So you mean to tell me, you mean to tell me that they traveled from Central America 1,500 miles longer all the way up to San Diego instead of taking the shortcut into Brownsville, Texas? While the kids got no shoes on and their one shitty diaper? With one bottle of water? Something does not sound right here. 
Sounds like a fucking hoax to me. I'm scratching my fucking balls on this one. Look at a fucking map. And you'll see what I'm talking about. If you believe that they traveled maybe 1,500, 2,000 extra miles, whatever the hell, all the way up to San Diego, which you know how California is, they would allow one of them any allow them in anyway. Something is wrong here. George Cyril funding or something. They paint that famous picture of the mom dragging her two kids, the one kid in the diaper, while getting tear gassed. Yeah, just like the Honduras girl that was standing in front of Trump crying. It's a hoax! Something's not right here. But you lip to believe anything you see on the news. Like a good little slave, be a good little slave. CNN said it's true. It must be true. I cannot believe these fucking dumbasses that are siding for, for what's his name, Acosto, Jim Acosto. Well, he got kicked out of the White House. I'm sorry, but if I go to somebody's house and I act up, you know what they're going to tell me? Get your shit and get the fuck out! No excuses. I'm glad we has a I'm glad we have a president that says get the fuck out of here, you know? Get out of here, you know? They had to go to a Supreme Court judge to get a seat back at the White House. What the fuck? What the hell's the matter with this country? Now I'm not against immigration. I'm not. I'm not against asylum seekers. I'm not against immigration. We need, immig we need immigrants. This country was founded on immigrants. My ancestors came over here from Scotland. We need immigrants. We got lots of jobs here. Immigrants is what keeps this country going. Immigrants is what keeps this country going. That's why this country is so great. Because we're a big mixing bowl of immigrants. That's how this country was found. Was immigrants. Yeah, we need immigrants. We need asylum seekers. But not the way that the liberals want it. They want to... They want everybody to come in. That's how you end up like Europe. And have Islamic attacks every fucking week. And I don't want to hear about the shit. Well, we got mass shootings every week. <clears throat> By white people. <laughs> That's their excuse. How many of those are hoaxes? I know I know what's going to happen. They're trying to get Donald Trump out of office in 2020. So they're going to allow all these illegal Democrat votes in. Yep, that's what it's about. Funded by George Soros. You know what they're trying to do in Florida now? They're trying to get it on the ballot for 2020 to ban assault rifles in Florida. For 2020. The little brats down there can't have their way. It was the assault weapon ban was rejected twice in the house down in Florida. It was rejected twice in Oregon. The little brats got to get their way. Anyway, that's that's it for my rant today. I'm out.